I was correct in telling you there are 26 cases that have come forward. Of those, 16 are in our international programmes. That means in any of the dozens of countries that we work in across the world. They range in time frame from more recent events to long historic events where people did not report them at the time, but now feel it's right to do so. It's believed, and I'd like to know what you think, that some of them would have been between the ages of 14 and 16. Now, the legal age in Haiti is 18 um, of consent. So how can you justify not reporting these failings and these matters to the Haitian authorities? Ms Latham, I want to repeat, what Oxfam did in 2011 in Haiti was wrong, and I wasn't in post, but I apologise for that. I'm sorry. At the time Oxfam conducted an investigation, it was wrong not to report that issue, set of issues to the Haitian authorities and decide how they wanted to handle it. Part of the investigation that Oxfam carried out included trying to speak to the women involved, and I fully accept I, your definition of the circumstances. I make no excuses there whatsoever. And it interviewed uh, as many of the women as it could trace. Uh, no, in, in those interviews, the women were asked their age and no evidence arose to suggest that they were under 18. That does not mean that no women were involved who were under 18. So the investigation concludes that we could not establish that any women were under 18. Uh, Mr Goldring, how many subscriptions have been cancelled to Oxfam following the revelations? I think about 7,000 individuals have cancelled a regular donation to Oxfam over the last 10 days. In your interview with The Guardian published on Saturday, you appeared to be downplaying this scandal using the uh, parallel with the murder of babies in their cots, which many people regarded as grossly inappropriate. Can I give you the opportunity to apologise? Certainly, Chairman. I do apologise. I was thinking under stress. I'd given many interviews. I'd made many decisions to try and lead Oxfam's response to this. I was thinking about amazing work I'd seen Oxfam do across the world, most recently for refugees in, uh, coming from Myanmar. I should not have said those things. It is not for Oxfam to judge issues of proportionality or motivation.